Hi, I'm Renata for Hamilton Beach, and this is the Stack and Snap food processor. Assembling traditional food processors can be time consuming and frustrating. The pieces have to be lined up just right, and the twisting and locking can be difficult, if not impossible. Sometimes it takes longer to assemble than it does to actually process the food. That's what makes the Stack and Snap food processor so handy. It assembles in seconds without twisting or locking. The bowl and lid are specially designed to stack only one way for foolproof assembly and the simple clips lock the lid in place for safe operation. A simple function guide shows you which blade to use and which button to press. The big mouth feed tube reduces the need to cut up ingredients beforehand, which saves even more time. With a sealed bowl, powerful 450 watt motor, a dishwasher safe blade, discs, bowl, and lid, this food processor is smartly designed with convenience in mind. You'll be all set to mix, chop, slice, and shred with ease with the Stack and Snap food processor from Hamilton Beach. Now that's good thinking. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is a Cuisinart Classic Series 14 cup food processor. It's a very generous size, so you'll have plenty of room to be doing all your family entertaining, but it's still a nice small footprint, so you can use it for every day, too. So you'll notice it's got a nice square base, and it has what we call um, paddles to operate. So here, this one, you press it down, it's um, on. This one is off. And if you press and hold this one down intermittently, it would be for pulsing. So, has a nice smooth finish. It's stainless steel on the outside. Has a lid that you remove by twisting and just pulling it off. It's really simple and easy to operate. This is your feed tube. And there's also a smaller feed tube inside, which I'm going to show you how to use a little bit later. And you can actually drop things in through the feed tube, like garlic. We're going to do garlic and jalapeno. And you can actually have the machine running. And it's a very um, efficient way to chop up garlic and some other items. The other thing is that um, it's great if you want to add um, liquid very slowly. The small feed tube has a small hole in it, so if you want to make vinaigrette, you can just pour the oil directly into the um, small feed tube. Or if you're going to make mayonnaise where you want to slowly incorporate any kind of oil, it'll just drip through the feed tube directly into your bowl in a very consistent um, way so that you get a great finished mayonnaise or a vinaigrette. So let's look at some of the other items that come with your food processor. In the bowl already is your chopping blade. And we call this the S blade because it's shaped like a little bit like an S. And this is used for everything from chopping herbs and onions to pureeing, mixing, and also kneading doughs. Um, and then the next thing is your stem. And the stem is attached to the bottom of your um, discs by lining up this arrow here with this one here. It's a little hard to see and you just press this down and turn to lock it into place. And then what you would do is you hold your disc by the, um, the edges and there's also a little icon up here. It's the same shape as the um, stem on the bottom and if you line those two up, you can just slip it in really easily. So that's the shredding disc and it's medium. We always recommend that you lay the disc down and then put on the stem accordingly. And to do any type of slicing and shredding, you would use your sh the medium slicing disc, I mean, not shredding, slicing. And you do the same thing. You line the little arrows up. You press and turn to lock it into place. Always hold it by the edges. And once again, if you line the icon, the stem up, I'm not doing it very good, but this is the way it goes. You just slide it right into the work bowl. And then what you would do is you put your lid back on and you would slice and shred. So you could either use the pulse function to slice or what you can do is you can turn it on. But as soon as you remove the feed tube, it'll stop. So that you would then add more ingredients and we can do batch processing. So you would add, let's say, potatoes, slice, and then continue on. And that would just, we're going to turn it off. 
So what we're going to do today, that's all of the parts that come with your um, food processor. And also you get a little spatula we, we help you with. What we're going to do now is we're going to put in the chopping blade. I'm going to show you how to make a guacamole very quickly and easily. So just put that in. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our cilantro. I'm going to add most of it, not all of it. You're going to see how efficient this machine is at um, chopping up ingredients. So um, very quickly and easily. So I modified this recipe a little bit um, in comparison to how it's written in our instruction manual. Next, we're going to add our tomatoes, which were seeded and the pulp was, uh, the interior was taken out, the seeds. And we're going to um, pulse that until it's finely chopped. When you first start using a food processor, it's a good idea to um, actually use the pulse function because of the fact that... Um, you know, you just want to get used to using it. You also want to get used to um, the consistency, and it gives you much greater control. So I'm just going to reserve this. Sorry, this is like a... I'm going to reserve some of this so that um, when we put the guacamole together at the end, it'll still have some of the chunky tomato. But I'm not going to do all of it. And when you, you know, if you have your own favorite recipes, you can modify accordingly. So just remember that whatever you put in the bowl first, if it stays in there the whole time while you're chopping and, and, and mixing or pureeing, that will be the smallest thing at the end. So just keep that in mind. So I didn't remove everything, just um, most of it. So the next thing what we're going to do is with the machine on and running, we're going to drop in the garlic and the jalapeno through the feed tube. We're going to stop and just um, scrape down the bowl. And then we're going to move on and add um, our onions, our green onion. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so we have to add the green onion. Again, we're going to chop that until it's fine. And then we're going to add the uh, majority of the rest of our ingredients. The first being our fresh avocados. So we'll just do that by adding that like so. And um, the last of the ingredients. So, of course, lime juice. This helps keep your um, guacamole also very fresh looking um, and gives it lots of extra flavor. This is the salt, cumin, and then the last um, ingredient is the chili powder. Give it a little zip. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid back on and then we're going to pulse until it's really creamy. what we're going to do. So I'm just going to scrape it down one last time and then I'm also going to add, because it still needs to be processed a little bit more, um, and then what I'm going to do at this point too is add the balance of the cilantro that I reserved. Okay, that looks like it's mixed really well because it's very creamy, I'll show you. It's nice and nice and very, very creamy looking. So the last step is to add back in the tomatoes and the cilantro. And this is really just so that they don't become, you know, when you're uh, pureeing the guacamole, you know, if it stays in there the whole time, you won't see the chunks of the tomato anymore. 
Let's just add that back in and we're going to pulse until it's incorporated. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to add this to our decorative bowl for serving. And you know, you could also put a, a beautiful lime wedge on top. The other thing that you can do is add maybe a couple extra little pieces of tomato. Um, oh, I'm going to show you a little trick also. This is a really, really big batch of guacamole, so it's great if you're going to have a party. Um, but the other thing too to remember is if you are going to be making this and then serving it like later, it's a good idea to put a couple of the pits in with the guacamole in the meantime, because this actually helps it along with the lime juice from turning brown on you. So you want to just cover this up. You can put it in the fridge if you want, or you can eat it right away. The other thing I want to mention too is there's so many great things that you can use your food processor for, um, not just guacamole, but you can make pizza dough or pasta dough. You can also um, make cookies. You can make all kinds of things like chicken salads and vinaigrettes. It's a lot of fun to use. It's really simple to operate. And the best thing about it is all the removable parts are dishwasher safe.